I stumble into the kitchen, eyes still in a haze of a dream, to start a pot of dark Folgers coffee. She likes it strong, so I add an extra spoonful. The coffee maker begins to hiss. The smell of the brew wafts through the cold apartment. My wife emerges from the bathroom with a look on her face that says, not this time. When I brush my teeth, I check the wastebasket and look at that not pregnant display on the test. We watch TV, the traffic reports and the news. Together in silence, both of us with steaming mugs in our hands. The diesel engine of the neighbor's truck begins to roar. Another neighbor's car door slams. Through the window, I see the routines. On the couch, we interlock our fingers. Then she goes to put on her makeup in front of the bathroom mirror as I stand and shave next to her. She straightens her hair while I tie my shoes. Her perfume, fresh and strong, a mixture of berries. A smell I've grown accustomed to over the years, and I know it's almost over. She stands by the door. Without looking, I know it's 6.58 a.m. I get up and go to her. We kiss. A peck on the lips. As if somehow with this small gesture of affection, we might both return to that dream.